What would you dare to do for Jesus? Would you defy dictators? Worship in secret? Sacrifice your safety? Over 360 million Christians around the world face persecution and discrimination every day. And these are the top 10 countries where Christians risk everything for Christ. Number 10, Sudan. Unrest in Sudan has increased following a military coup. Violence and pressure against Christians have worsened. At number nine, Afghanistan. Following the Taliban takeover, those Christians who have not fled the country have been forced deep underground. If discovered, they face death. Iran is at number eight. Iranian house churches are seen as a threat by the Islamist regime. Church members who are caught are given long prison sentences. Number seven, Pakistan. Pakistan's infamous blasphemy laws are often used to target believers. Christian women and girls are vulnerable to kidnap and forced marriage. Nigeria is at number six. More Christians are killed in Nigeria than in all the other countries of the world combined. And the violence is getting worse. Number five, Libya. In this lawless land, both native and migrant Christians are targeted, kidnapped, and even killed. At number four is Eritrea. Christians who dare to meet without official permission risk arrest. Over a thousand believers are in jail without charge. Yemen is number three on the list. The humanitarian crisis continues. Anyone suspected of being a Christian will be deliberately overlooked for aid and might be expelled or killed by their own tribe. Number two is Somalia. Islamic militants are intensifying their hunt for Christians and violent attacks are increasing. And at number one, North Korea, the most dangerous place in the world to be a Christian. Spies are everywhere. Discovery means death, either by execution or by being worked to death in a labor camp. Despite the danger, in all these countries, the church is not defeated. It is living powerful, defiant, and for over 65 years, Open Doors has stood with this church. Where Christians risk persecution, our underground networks support millions of believers with emergency food and aid, spiritual care, smuggled Bibles and Christian books, training and legal advice. And where Christians enjoy freedom, we work with local churches to raise prayer and support and to speak truth to those in power. Every day around the world, Christians risk everything to follow Christ. Will you dare to stand with them?